Zingo. It's an F1C, well, an old one. I don't know that it's even legal now. I think it's too light for the rules now. But uh, Cox Conquest 15, uh, built and then rebuilt by Ron Young, who was one of the, the guys who actually built the original ones. And, well, this was one of the original ones, but then he rebuilt it as I understand it. Uh, airplane was built, I believe, by Charlie Caton. It was kind of a collaboration. Uh, I know um, Bob Hanford was involved and some others. Um, anyway, the airplane name escapes me of the designer. It may have been Tom Hutchinson. I'm probably wrong about that. Anyway, um, I'm definitely wrong about that. But anyway, it was designed in 1970. Um, published in 72. This is a BMJR models kit. It's designed for vintage FAI. That's why it has a bunch of lead on it. You could take that off and fly it much more competitively in AMA A gas. It's competitive even with the weight, as you're about to see. Uh, engine's rated for about, um, on the right prop, um, it's rated for 29,000 RPM. This is an APC 7.4, so it's going to be down a little bit, probably 26, 27. Anyway, nice fast airplane uh, with proper DT setup. So this is a Texas Max 3 timer, which unfortunately you can't get anymore, but it has DT and uh, motor cut on it. So we're set for a short run, which will put it at the edge of visibility. Not quite, but close. One other thing, uh, this engine's set up differently in terms of the fuel system than what I normally do. This one has flood off. I'm not a big fan of flood off. It's hard on engines and spills fuel everywhere. But the um, crankshaft uh, inner bore is so large that you get a lot of fuel in there and pinch off it takes a while to shut down whereas flood off it's kind of instant so let's fly How do you know your plane is out of gas when it won't shut down, ironically? That's right, it shouldn't be too flooded. Hmm. Basically ran itself dry. So nice, so nice. It takes a while to come down. Wow. So, that is the Zingo. We'll probably try to throw in some more footage uh, of it flying, but if there were a description of a perfect power model, I think this would embody it. It patterns perfectly, it goes up, it rolls into a glide perfectly every time, regardless of length of motor run, unless it's really short. Um, glides amazingly well, gets huge altitude. 
it's light enough that the wing is uh, that, that it glides really well but it's stiff so you can go crazy fast and like I said it can go faster this is not the most powerful uh, prop combo for this air for this engine but anyway uh, kits are available for this airplane from BMJR models and like I said this is built from the kit uh, things that I don't so the kits don't include covering um, I don't know if they include glass cloth and that's probably the most important thing I can tell you about this airplane is you need to glass several layers of glass onto the firewall on this airplane because the amount of power and vibration that it is exposed to um, it needs to be very strong and there is no reason to try to save weight in that area airplane is going to balance fine regardless it's going to be light enough this airplane there was no um, effort made to build this airplane light uh, nor should there be because it you're not going to build it overweight it required ballast as it was so anyway uh, check out there'll be a link in the description and check out the Zingo hi I'm Josh Finn this is Hope we are J&H Aerospace if you like this video hit the like button also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.